Have you ever started reading something and immediately felt hooked? Like you just had to keep reading? That's the power of a strong introduction. It's not just about starting a new section. It's about grabbing your reader's attention and pulling them in. Think of each section intro as a mini introduction to a whole new world. You're inviting your reader to explore a new idea, a new perspective, a new layer of your story. And just like with any invitation, you want to make it enticing. A good section intro does more than just tell the reader what's coming next. It sets the tone, builds anticipation, and creates a smooth transition from the previous section. It's the bridge between where your reader has been and where you're taking them. So, how do we create these captivating intros? How do we make our readers eager to delve into each new section? Let's explore some techniques that can help us achieve just that. One effective technique is to start with a question. Questions pique our curiosity. They make us want to discover the answer. For example, instead of simply stating, this section will discuss the benefits of meditation, you could ask. Feeling stressed and overwhelmed? Discover how meditation can bring calmness and clarity to your day. Another approach is to begin with a bold statement or a surprising fact. This immediately grabs the reader's attention and makes them want to learn more. Think along the lines of, did you know that spending just 10 minutes a day in nature can significantly reduce stress levels? You can also use anecdotes, quotes, or vivid descriptions to create an emotional connection with your reader. A personal story or a relatable experience can draw them in and make your writing more engaging. Remember, the key is to be concise, creative, and captivating. Your section intros should be like appetizers, enticing the reader to savor the main course of your writing. Now that we've explored some techniques, let's see them in action with some concrete examples. Ready to be inspired? Imagine you're writing an essay about the importance of sleep. Instead of a bland heading like the benefits of sleep, consider this. Tired of feeling drained? The answer might be simpler than you think, a good night's sleep. See how that immediately draws you in? It speaks directly to a common problem and offers a solution, making the reader want to learn more. Here's another example. Let's say you're writing about the power of positive thinking. Instead of stating, positive thinking can improve your life, try this. Imagine waking up every morning feeling optimistic and empowered. That's the transformative power of positive thinking. Notice how these examples use vivid language, relatable situations, and a hint of intrigue to captivate the reader's attention. They set the stage for the section and create a smooth transition from the previous one. Now, it's your turn to put these techniques into practice. Think about a piece you're currently working on. Choose a section and try writing three different intros for it, using the techniques we've discussed. Don't be afraid to experiment and have fun with it. Remember, the goal is to find the intro that best fits your voice, your style, and the overall tone of your writing. But how do you know if your intros are truly effective? How can you ensure they're engaging your readers and making them eager to continue reading? Section 5. Engaging your audience. The art of asking questions. Asking questions throughout your writing is a powerful way to keep your readers engaged. It encourages them to think critically, reflect on their own experiences, and connect with your words on a deeper level. When you ask a question, you're inviting your reader to participate in a conversation. You're acknowledging their presence and inviting them to share their thoughts and perspectives. Think about incorporating questions that spark curiosity, challenge assumptions, or invite personal reflection. For example, you could ask, have you ever wondered why? Or what if we looked at this from a different angle? But asking questions is only half the equation. To keep the conversation flowing, you need to provide thoughtful and insightful answers. How do we seamlessly transition from questions to answers while maintaining the reader's interest? Let's explore this in the next section. Section six, weaving a tapestry. 
connecting your sections seamlessly. Answering your own questions might seem counterintuitive at first, but it's all about the approach. Instead of simply providing a straightforward answer, think of it as an opportunity to delve deeper, to offer insights, and to further engage your reader. For instance, let's say you asked, have you ever wondered why some people seem to achieve their goals effortlessly while others struggle? You could then transition into your answer with something like, the answer, it turns out, is often less about luck and more about mindset. See how that piques the reader's curiosity and encourages them to continue reading? Remember, writing is like weaving a tapestry. Each section, each paragraph, each sentence is a thread that contributes to the overall beauty and complexity of the final piece. But words are just one element of effective writing. How can we enhance our writing and make it even more engaging? Let's explore the power of visuals. Section 7. The Power of Visuals. Enhancing Your Writing with Imagery. A picture is worth a thousand words, as the saying goes. And it's true. Images have the power to capture our attention, evoke emotions, and convey complex ideas in an instant. Incorporating visuals into your writing can make it more engaging, memorable, and impactful. Whether it's a photograph, an illustration, or even a simple chart or graph, visuals can help bring your words to life. Think about using images that complement your text, illustrate your points, or simply provide a visual break for your reader. For example, if you're writing about the beauty of nature, why not include a stunning photograph of a scenic landscape? By incorporating visuals strategically, you can create a more immersive and enjoyable reading experience. But while visuals can enhance our writing, it's our unique voice that truly makes it sing. How do we infuse our personality and style into our writing? Let's find out. Section 8. Finding your voice. Infusing personality into your writing. Your voice is what makes your writing uniquely yours. It's the way you express yourself, the words you choose, the rhythm and flow of your sentences. It's what makes your writing stand out from the crowd and resonate with your readers. Don't be afraid to let your personality shine through in your writing. Use your natural voice, your sense of humor, your unique perspective. Write as if you're having a conversation with a friend, sharing your thoughts and ideas in an authentic and engaging way. Remember, people connect with people. And when you write with your authentic voice, you're inviting your readers to connect with you on a deeper level. But writing isn't a solitary endeavor. It's a process of growth, refinement, and collaboration. So how do we get feedback on our writing and use it to improve our craft? Section 9. The Importance of Feedback. Seeking input and refining your craft. Feedback is essential for any writer, regardless of their experience level. It's how we learn, grow, and improve our craft. When we share our writing with others and ask for their honest opinions, we gain valuable insights that can help us see our work with fresh eyes. Don't be afraid to share your writing with trusted friends, family members, or writing groups. Ask them for their honest feedback, both positive and constructive. What worked well? What could be improved? Remember, feedback is a gift. It's an opportunity to learn and grow as a writer. Embrace it, learn from it, and use it to refine your craft. As we conclude our exploration of writing, what key takeaways can we carry with us on our writing journey? Section 10. Conclusion. Embracing the journey of writing. Writing is a journey, not a destination. It's a process of exploration, discovery, and continuous improvement. There's always something new to learn, a new technique to try, a new story to tell. Embrace the journey. Experiment, make mistakes, and learn from them. Find your voice, share your stories, and never stop writing. And most importantly, remember to have fun.
Writing should be an enjoyable and fulfilling experience. So relax, let your creativity flow, and enjoy the ride. Now I'd love to hear from you. What are some of your favorite techniques for writing engaging section intros? Share your thoughts and ideas in the comments below.